The fear beneath scientists warn Etna's new behavior is more dangerous than any tsunami scenario. Sicily, Italy, December 2025. The summit trembles long before dawn. Frost clings to the jagged black lava fields, and a thin red glow pulses from one of Mount Etna's upper vents, not with the lazy confidence of a typical Strombolian burst, but with the sharp, feverish flicker of a system under pressure. Instruments positioned by the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, record each pulse like a heartbeat, growing steadily louder, steadier, more insistent. In the control room outside Catania, screens that once drifted with calm seismic noise now crackle with swarms hundreds of micro-earthquakes stacked together like the teeth of a saw. Every hour, they grow stronger. Every day, the mountain shifts a little more. And for the first time in years, scientists are admitting openly that what Etna is doing now is far more alarming than any hypothetical future where its flank collapses into the sea. The myth versus the fear. What scientists are really looking at for decades, the public imagination has been haunted by a single catastrophic image. Etna's southeastern flank sliding dramatically into the Ionian Sea, triggering a Mediterranean mega tsunami. Yes, the flank is slowly moving. Yes, scientists measure that drift with extraordinary precision. But the data is clear that slow descent is ancient, gradual, and not accelerating toward any sudden ocean collapse. What is accelerating and what has every volcanologist awake at night is something else entirely. Etna's magma system is repressurizing at a speed not seen in decades. Deep tremor signatures show magma rising through narrow conduits like steam forced through a needle. Satellite interferometry reveals the ground on the southern slope warping upward by centimeters in a matter of weeks, an astonishing rate for a volcano of this size. Thermal cameras detect persistent heat zones expanding beneath the summit craters. In short, Etna is waking into a new mode of activity, a mode that scientists fear could lead to an eruption far more violent than its usual spectacular but manageable displays. The real threat, eruption dynamics turning unpredictable. For the past 10 years, Etna has favored rhythms long fountaining episodes, long pauses, vent migrations that play out slowly. But in late 2025, those rhythms shattered. Eruption episodes have become shorter, sharper, and more explosive. Lava fountains that once soared 300 meters now roar 800 meters high with almost no warning. Ash columns that used to drift lazily now tower up to 10 kilometers, threatening flight corridors and dropping darkness across entire towns. And worst of all, pyroclastic explosions once rare on Etna are becoming more frequent as gas-rich magma reaches the surface faster than expected. These are immediate hazards, not distant geological hypotheticals, not centuries-old predictions resurrected for dramatic effect. These are the phenomena that can sweep across Etna's upper slopes in seconds obliterate monitoring stations, erase hiking trails, and send ash raining over half of Sicily. The new seismic signature that terrifies researchers. 
Instruments recently detected an unusual pattern beneath Etna's magma plumbing, a cluster of low-frequency earthquakes that migrate upward like footsteps climbing a staircase. This pattern has only been observed in two conditions. When magma is rushing towards shallow chambers and when pressure is accumulating faster than the system can release it. In other words, Etna may be preparing to tear open a new eruptive vent, not peacefully, but violently. This is the kind of pattern we watch most closely, one INGV researcher explains. Not because we expect a flank collapse tomorrow, but because these signals tell us that the magma is agitated, gas charged, and rising faster than we can model. A new vent opening on Etna's flank can trigger lava flows racing downslope toward villages or explosive degassing that disrupts air travel across the entire region. This is the danger scientists prioritize, the danger that could unfold today, tomorrow, or next week. Why the tsunami fear is secondary for now? Contrary to dramatic headlines, a catastrophic flank collapse is considered a long-term structural evolution, driven by slow sliding of submarine sediments rather than imminent volcanic instability. Modern monitoring shows. No sudden acceleration in flank movement. No signature of deep detachment faults forming rapidly. No signs of the mass about to shear off catastrophically. It is a hazard, but a distant one, moving on a geological clock, not a human one. Where Etna is unpredictable, immediate, and capable of transforming in a single afternoon, the collapse scenario is not the threat that defines 2025. The mountain's new personality, Etna, is changing. Its magma is richer in volatiles. Its pathways are narrowing, increasing the violence of eruptions. Its seismic patterns are more erratic and its summit craters are deforming faster than at any time in the past decade. For scientists, this combination spells not tsunami, but something more urgent and far less understood. A volcano entering a new phase of evolution, with energy building faster than anyone expected. 